57 pounds, Otis! Oh, here we are. And right now making his way to the ring is one of the most frightening individuals you're ever gonna see. He is the monster, Abyss. And right now, Abyss is the number one contender for that Border City Wrestling heavyweight title. Oh. He is currently held by Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode has a task cut out for him in the form of Abyss here tonight. And not only is that title on the line, Jim Hall, what else is on the line? The Can-Am Cup is riding on the outcome of this match, God. It all comes down to one match, Abyss, Bobby Root, Team America, Team Canada, on the line right here, the Can-Am Cup. <laughs> Jeffrey Scott, the Omega male <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and Abyss, what a man monster this is. And his opponent, from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, 236 pounds. He is the Border City Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Roode. And Bobby Roode, here he comes, the Border City Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And what a hard fought victory he had over A1 at WrestleFest to earn that title win. Here he comes hoping to take Team Canada to victory here tonight as well as defend that title against the Bits. Oh, yes, indeed. Bobby Roode representing Canada like a Tim Horton pro. Oh, no. <laughs> Those are good. They, they are indeed tasty. Bobby Roode has a task cut out for him right here. This monster, he's aptly named Monster Abyss. Was it? I believe it was Frederick Nietzsche who said you stare long enough in the abyss, the abyss stares right back at you just before he finishes you off with a black hole slam. <laughs> Referee Nick Johnson not looking too sure about being in between these two competitors. Oh. Bobby Roode, though, it is not easy to intimidate this young man. Oh, what a tremendous year Bobby Roode has had in 2005. Uh, he, he may be wrestler of the year. Abyss wanting to touch that gold. Oh, Dad, you, know, you can't blame him for, for wanting that gold. I mean, that Border City Wrestling Heavyweight title. Is, is there a more prestigious title in our business? No. I think not. Oh, look at this. It's so much for sportsmanship of the Can-Am Cup as Abyss attacks from behind. Oh, with everything on the line, Dad, you go all out if you want to be a champion. And Abyss wants to be a champion. He wants to take home that Can-Am Cup. The glory for Team America, Team USA, the the pride, the prestige, and the lineage of the Border City Wrestling Heavyweight title. Oh, all on the line, and Abyss wants it. Oh, look at that now. Bobby Root fighting back. Right hands. The masked face of Abyss trying to cut down the huge tree. <laughs> Abyss not having any of it. Oh, Bobby Root staggering him. And for a long time, Root was the power member of Team Canada. And right now, he is still extremely powerful, second only in power to perhaps A1. Oh, and focusing on the leg, smart wrestling by Bobby Roode. Several oh. kicks in the drop kick to the knee, and going back to work on that knee. Oh, that, that is what Bobby Roode's gonna have to do, Dad, in order to win this match, in order to win the Can-Am Cup for Team Canada, in order to preserve his Border City oh. Heavyweight Championship. He's got to cut the big man down to size. He's got to take that leg out. And there he goes right back at it again, like a surgeon. Right, into that half Boston Crab right there. Abyss, very smart for a mute monster though. Grabs the rope to break the hold. Goes outside to regain his bearings, perhaps uh, work a kink or two out of that leg. And hopefully not grab the chains that he brings to ringside. Well, you know, that, that wouldn't hurt his chances any if he were to pick up that chain. Rude now taking the fight outside. Rude, very popular, very good sportsman. He is no stranger, though, how, however, to bending or breaking the rules. And oh. look at this, just going right to town with Abyss. Right into the timekeeper's table. 
This is not a table match, Bobby Roode. Let's stay away from the table. Let's get it back in the ring where it belongs. Come on. Using the guardrail and then a chop right there to the chest of Abyss. The massive chest. And Abyss Boom. using that power. Look at it. Did you see that guardrail just come right up <laughs> from the force? Rude able to deflect another blow. Oh, and a kick to Rude's face. And I'll tell you, Dad, the, those guardrails are cast steel. They are heavy, they are massive, much like Abyss, and they have no give in them. Much like Abyss. Oh, look at this now, the referee applying the count here, Abyss. Oh, oh. ramming his face into the table right there. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Root staggered, Abyss. These guys are taking the fight to the outside. <laughs> Good advice from a fan there. Run, Bobby, run. Uh, that, that wouldn't be a bad strategy to, to make the big man exercise that leg, taking all the abuse. <laughs> Bobby Roode might go for a running strategy here. Bobby Roode not one to run. Oh, look at that. Abyss. Just so unfriendly to the hometown Canadian crowd. Clear, effective, nonverbal communication, Dodd. Now, takes Bobby Roode back into the ring. If Abyss wants to win that title, he is going to have to win this fight in the ring. Oh, Dad, and, and the big man is, is poised to do just that. He is uh, even up to damage. Look at the spryness there. Big man shows some dainty agility as he goes to it. Bobby Roode is down. I mean, just these clubbing blows. Any of these moves that Abyss hits you with is just... It's like concrete hammers coming down on your head and, and your chest, your legs, everything. Abyss, so strong, so powerful and just maniacal. And look at this, stretching the neck of Bobby Roode. Oh, just, look at just, just pulling on that neck. Oh, oh, I think he's got a handful of hair there, too. Oh. Wrenching the head. Bobby Roode uh, trying to fight out of it. Uh, my neck hurt watching this, Dad. His, fan, his fans now trying to trying to help Roode get that adrenaline pumping. Roode up to his feet. Look at this. Fighting out of it. And look at this. Fighting off Abyss. Off the ropes. This is a clothesline. There's Abyss. Up and over. Sunset flip. Trying to take him down. Abyss breaks the hole. Oh, oh, but misses. The butt drop. And oh. Drop kick right to the back of the head. Two. Gets a two count. Oh, clothesline. I think he just made Abyss angry. Well, I, I do believe that, that Abyss's head is the least vulnerable spot on the big monster's body. His head is rock solid. I mean, is there a vulnerable spot on Abyss's body? Bobby Roode needs to find it. This Abyss just methodical. Picks him up and rams his face right into that top turnbuckle. And a chop out of desperation from Rude. And look at just like a sledgehammer brings a fist down on top of his head. And Rude fighting back. Where is he finding this? Oh, jeez. Oh. Brutal fist right to the top of the head. Dazed, just dazed Bobby Rude. Oh, Dad, you don't want to take a punch like that or a blow like that from Abyss because a punch would be illegal. Oh, that's not Abyss backs Rude into the corner. Oh! Oh, and a, oh, an overhand chop right to the chest. Oh! Right to the chest of the champion. That had to sting. Keep your eye on Abyss. He could be choking him right here, but look at this. Winds up and hits another chop to the, try the chest. Oh, Rude just hurting so bad. He just, the gritted teeth. It's just, the pain is incredible. Everything's on the line here, Dad. Big slam from Abyss. Backs into the corner. The big man's going up, Dad. We could see Air Abyss here. Oh, look at Abyss. Oh. And this is a leg drop. Oh, all that. Howard, all that weight coming off the off the turnbuckle, that could put anybody away. Rude 
fortunate oh. enough to get out of the way of that missile abyss. Oh, and I'll tell you, if Abyss lands that and he drops all of that mass onto Bobby Roode, it, it finishes Bobby Roode. But as it is, Roode rolls out of the way, and Abyss takes all of that impact on his own spine. And look at this now, Roode back up to his feet. Firing away at Abyss now. Roode wants so bad to keep his title and to win the Can-Am Cup for Canada. Oh, the Lufez press. And Rude is firing away at Abyss. Rude angry now. There's that power we spoke of earlier. Rude very powerful. Oh, the champ's going airborne now. Flying body press takes Abyss down. Oh, and gets a two count right there. Bobby Rude may not have the body mass to hold Abyss down in a pinning situation. Irish Whip follows him in with a knee in the midsection. Was patented Bobby Roode right now, and another one. For Roode to get the win here, Dad, he is going to have to take a lot more out of the sails of the big monster abyss than he has so far. Oh, oh, oh no, look at this. He's got him up. Sits oh. down, shock treatment. Oh. Oh, shock treatment just takes out Bobby Roode. And Roode kicks out. Oh. Roode where kicks is, out of the shock treatment. Where is Bobby Roode getting the, the strength, the courage, the, the tenacity to, to continue this match, Dodd? Oh, wait a minute. Abyss going for the chain. Referee Nick Johnson, a very brave man. <laughs> very brave. Very brave man. Abyss says, okay, I won't use the chain this time. Shoulder block. Roode catches him. The right hand, wait a minute, reversal. Oh, oh a kick to the face. Oh, it's oh, a good thing again. Abyss has that leather mask to protect his face with <laughs> a kick like that. Got him in the maple leaf. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Joe Doring, Conrad Kennedy the third. what are they doing here? Well, Dodd, obviously, they're, they're members of, of Team USA. They're out here to support Abyss. Bobby Roode and Joe Doring exchanging words here. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. The bell did, right to the head. Did you see Bobby Roode push referee Nick Johnson out through the ropes? Oh, uncalled for, Don. A most unsportsmanlike situation there. Abyss now crawling over, oh, using no. the last dregs of energy. Oh, oh, Roode kicks out. Roode kicks out. Oh, the tenacity of Bobby Roode. Oh, oh, wait a minute, There's here's Team, Team Canada. Canada. Johnny Devine, Showtime Eric Young. Here to even the odds. Taking it to Joe Doring and, and Conrad Kennedy the third. That's not right. Get them out of here. Yes, get Doring and Kennedy out of here. Oh. Wait, here's Petey Williams. And he's, he's Williams calling for the destroyer, Don. He is on a Can he get the big man up and over? He's going to try. Oh. He's going to try. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh, oh no. Off the ropes, look at this, and a black hole slam. Oh, with one extra rotation. Oh, Williams. Petey needed a better plan than the Canadian Destroyer to take on Abyss. Oh, that would have been spectacular. And here's a good plan from Bobby Roode. Oh, and a chair to the head. Oh, that's a way to chop down that huge tree. Oh, look at that, off the ropes. And a close oh. to the back of the head. The Enzui Lariat. Oh. Nick Johnson just in time to make the count. Oh! Oh! oh. Bobby Roode frustrated now. Need to get a pin here. Retain that title. Get the win. Get that cup for Canada. You hit the big man with a chair. You plant his face into the chair. And it's still not enough to keep the monster abyss down. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Bobby Roode in with the Border City Heavyweight belt. Abyss, oh, oh no. he's got him. He's oh. calling for it, Dad. Calling for a choke slam here. Oh no. Rude trying to fight out of it. And does. Just that tenacity. Oh no, look at this. Black oh. hole slam on the chair. On the chair. Two, three. Oh, oh. oh my it is, God. Good there God. it is. Your new Ladies and City Wrestling Heavyweight Over Champion. And new Motor City Wrestling. Champion and the winners of the Can Am Cup, Team America. There's a 
America's Most Wanted. There's Jerry Lynn, Joe Doring, Conrad Kennedy the third in there too. And the last member of Team and Rhino. America, Rhino. Team America, the winners of the Can-Am Cup. And Abyss, your new Border City Wrestling Heavyweight Ladies Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, guys. once again, the new Border City Wrestling Champion, Abyss, and the winners of the Can-Am Cup, Team America. And there is the new champion. Look at that monster abyss. And, and look at Rhino. He was late coming out to the ring. He's kind of standing apart from his teammates here. He is the number one contender. With the Doug Chevalier show in January, he has to face this man, Monster Abyss, for the Border City Wrestling Heavyweight title. Absolutely. And it looks like he's got his eye on the prize already. And now as Team America exits the ring, there goes Kennedy, there goes Doring, Rhino still in the ring, Abyss about to leave. Whoa, oh, look at this! Gore. Rhino with the gore! Rhino with the gore! Takes out Abyss! He wow. may be on the winning team tonight, and he may have won that number one contendership, but more than anything, he wants that Border City Wrestling Heavyweight title. Oh, God. Oh, uh, and, and the gore proved enough to, to take down a beaten and battered Abyss. Uh, what will it be like when these two meet for that title? Oh, right back here in the Chicharro Club, we will find out at the Doug Chevalier Memorial Show. Oh, Team America, they, they came together, they forged a bond, they achieved their goal of winning that Can-Am Cup, taking that prestigious cup home tonight. But uh, apparently the team has served it. Ladies purpose. and gentlemen, once again, Team America! The alliance is now over, at least between Abyss and Rhino. Exactly. And there it is. The Border City Wrestling Heavyweight Championship belt. Oh. There it is, your heavyweight champion, Abyss with a clear-cut message back to Rhino. If you want it, I'm here. Come and get it at the Chevalier Memorial Show. Your new Border City Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Abyss, your inaugural Can-Am Cup winner, Team America. And, Don, we have got two more big...